Hey, what's up guys, Matt here with the new iPhone 5S. Now one of the main features here, of course, is the new Touch ID fingerprint scanner built right into the home button. This basically lets you take your finger and instead of entering a passcode or a password for iTunes, you just hold your finger down and it opens it up. Now this has definitely been done before, especially in laptops, but the technology that goes into this is a little bit different. When you look at an electrical optical scanner, which is basically what everything uses, that's what you see in your laptops, what it's doing is taking a black and white photo of your fingerprint and every time you swipe it back, it just matches it up and it unlocks your device. Now the iPhone 5S is using a technology called capacitance and basically it's the same thing, it's just at a much higher fidelity which means it's a lot harder to crack. With the older electro-optical scanners, it was very easy to crack because the resolution of the scans was just not that good. You could print off a black and white copy of someone's fingerprint, scan it, and you could have a good chance of getting in. But with Touch ID, you get that same convenience of swiping your finger, but it's a lot more secure. Now to set it up, it's pretty simple. All you do is go into settings, then you go into general, then you go into passcode and fingerprint, Enter in your passcode so you can gain access, then go ahead and start a new fingerprint scan. The instructions are very clear. Basically, all you have to do is press your finger against the home button, then release when it tells you to, then push again, and you just do this a few different times so that I can get a complete scan of your whole finger. Then after that, it asks you to do it at a different angle so that if you pick your phone up in a different way, it's gonna know what it looks like. So it's gonna basically be universal and you're never gonna have an issue. Now once you've successfully entered your fingerprint, you pretty much never have to enter your passcode ever again unless you chop off your finger. And one great thing is that you can do it with up to five fingers so you don't have to rely on your one thumb or one index finger. You can do it with both index fingers and both thumbs so that you have a wide variety of fingers to use just in case you need to get into your phone quickly. Now to unlock your phone, all you have to do is push the home button and keep your finger held on the button for a second. It really happens almost instantly and it just takes you in. It's really simple and if you try it with a different finger, you can see that it just doesn't work. So it definitely seems to work and be relatively secure, at least with my own hands. And it works at pretty much every angle. I pick my phone up upside down, scan my finger, it still unlocks. I don't have to worry about holding my phone just right it's gonna work pretty much however you use it. It's great. Now right now the functionality is a little bit limited. All it does right now is open your phone and enter your iTunes password for you. But if they open this up to different developers or at least just different functions, I can see fingerprints really becoming something popular. And if this is successful, I can bet that most phones are gonna have it in the coming years. So far it's really working well and I'm enjoying it. The hardest part is that I have to remember to actually use it instead of entering my passcode. But once I get over that hump, I think it's gonna be hard to go back. Anyways, that was my hands-on demo and kind of explanation of Touch ID for the iPhone 5S. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, be sure to hit subscribe so you can see when it's uploaded. Like I said, I'm Matt, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.